Russia and France have intensified their airstrikes in, the, in Syria in the wake of Paris attacks and the bombing of a Russian airliner over Egypt. VOA Pentagon correspondent Kalabab looks at how the increased efforts will affect the fight on the ground. Russia and coalition member France have stepped up strikes over Islamic State's stronghold Raqqa, punishing the group for targeting their citizens in recent attacks. Earlier Russian strikes wreaked havoc on Syrian opposition areas, away from Islamic State strongholds. But the Pentagon is cautiously optimistic about Russia's shift. It does seem, at least in recent days, there's been more of a focus on ISIL, and we, we welcome that. The question remains, can more firepower prevent Islamic State attacks? Andrew Tabler of the Washington Institute for Near East Policy says no. I think that France and a lot of other countries will step up their efforts, but you can't bomb your way out of this problem. Critics of the president's strategy point to the attacks as a warning that the U.S. plan in Syria is not working. There is no compelling reason to believe that anything we're doing will be sufficient to destroy ISIL. This president does not want to, uh, to commit ground forces to Syria. Of course, uh, it's, you know, it begs the question, what ground force is going to go into eastern Syria anytime soon and root out ISIS? And for the life of me, I can't find one. But as the fight on the ground ramps up, the administration says local forces, not the Russians, French or Americans, must be the ones to push the terror group out of Syria. Carla Bab, VOA News, The Pentagon.